Are antique reproductions anything new? I think that's a good question. I'm going to answer it very quickly whilst I show you this cracking pair of original antique candlesticks, solid silver with the Corinthian column. This is crucial, beautifully hallmarked. I'm going to clean them actually just while, look at that, I mean, it's a little bit of a buff makes such a difference. Look at the hallmarks. So hallmarks here are by Thomas A. Scott. Yes, Sheffield. You've got the crown for the city of Sheffield. You've got the lion side on to tell you that it's British hallmarked silver. And then you've got the date letter M, which dates it to 1904. So proper antiques. Edward VII. Edward VII came to the British throne in 1901 and right up to 1910. So yes, proper antique Corinthian column, solid silver candlesticks with the oh, lovely drip tray or sconce to catch the hot wax, also hallmarked, which is absolutely crucial and the way it should be. And on the market in a minute, once they're claimed for £275. I'm only gonna give them a light clean. A light clean is just enough. Sometimes over cleaning silver, you just really overdo it when it's old and antique like this. I think it needs to maintain some sort of warm patination. Anyway, interestingly, even though these are absolutely genuine antique, when they were new in 1904, these were indeed reproductions. They were brand new reproduction antique silver candlesticks. Reproductions from an earlier time, an earlier British period, the Georgian period of the 1700s. So in 1904, these would have been described as Georgian revival reproduction candlesticks. So yes, reproductions from the 1700s. The Georgians loved Corinthian columns. This is the telltale the Georgians of Britain and America in the 1700s adored their classical design. I loved Corinthian columns just like this. In anything and everything from little candlesticks to huge buildings, architecture contained the Corinthian classical column. One of the best examples in America, as an example, is the Capitol building in Washington. That has some seriously cracking Corinthian columns. Coming on nicely, I think you'll agree very quickly, but the Georgian classical design, which incorporated these Corinthian columns, that too was simply reproduction. A reproduction from a design that predated it by around 1700 years. You go back to the Roman period. So the Georgians were inspired by the classical period. Look at that coming up very nicely. But even the Romans love their reproductions because the Roman Corinthian columns were simply a copy, a knockoff from an earlier empire. And that was, of course, the Greek Empire. So the Corinthian column, that design, can be dated back to around 300 BC. It was the Greeks that first invented it. Anything containing a Corinthian column like this post 300 BC is effectively a reproduction. So antique reproductions then are nothing new. And the great irony is this, that if you give a good antique reproduction enough time and enough care, that they do indeed themselves, in their own right, turn into genuine antiques.